In this lesson, we're going to be going over Deft Linux. Now, Deft Linux is a particular distribution of the Linux operating system that has applications installed on it geared towards doing computer forensics or incident response. I've got Deft Linux installed, but it's actually based on Ubuntu 11.10. So that's the distribution that underlies Deft. I've got Ubuntu, and then on top of that, I've got really the Deft applications that get installed. Now, Deft is available as a live CD, so you could boot it up on any system that you wanted to do forensics for and be able to analyze the hard drive as well as be able to capture images of that hard drive and maybe export them to a USB stick if you could get it to fit or some other external type of evidence storage like an external hard drive. So I've got the typical Linux sort of thing. I've got Firefox and Google and you can see there's some office utilities. I've got MySQL server and Apache server, SSH server, on top of sort of the standard basic suite of Linux programs and services, I've also got these ones that are specific to Deft. And you can see I've got many capabilities here in terms of categories and programs that are available. So I've got Gparted, for example. Gparted gives me the ability to look at how a hard drive is partitioned. Now that's pretty common for a Linux system. So let's take a look at some of the other things here. So I've got hashing tools. For example, I've got MD5 sum and SHA1 sum, and I could do a SHA256 as well as a SHA512. So I've got a lot of capabilities in terms of doing hashing. Now, imaging tools, and we've spent a lot of time talking about how you gather and manipulate and verify images. And here's some tools that you could use to actually create those images. As I said, you could boot this up as a live CD and capture an image. So we've got DCFL DD that we have looked at before and various flavors of DD. And we've got another one here called Cyclone. Cyclone is actually a tool for cloning disks. It works in much the same way that DD does. It's kind of a curses interface. So right now it's presented me the hard drives that are installed here. And all I have to do is type the disk name or the partition name that I want to clone. And it will go off and do the cloning for me. So what else do we have available for tools under Deft? We've got the imaging tools. We've got hashing tools. There's data carving tools here. So PhotoRec would allow me to recover graphics files or image files. I've got Scalpel, which would allow me to go and carve files out of a hard drive. So in cases where maybe a file has been deleted, or obscured in some other way, these data carving tools would allow me to go and find the data on the drive and retrieve the file, even though it's not available through the normal file system any longer. So I've got these data carving tools. Now, I've also got mobile forensics, and we'll certainly be talking about doing forensics on mobile devices in subsequent lessons, but we've got the ability to do iPhone dumps and iPhone analysis, and there's a couple here for BlackBerry devices as well. Now, one thing that's really helpful is the SQLite database browser. You may or may not be aware that iPhone stores a lot of data inside SQLite databases. So if you can retrieve the data, now we've got a graphical way of looking at that data rather than having to do it in a manual way of doing command line tools if you could actually get a SQLite command interface. The SQLite database browser is really nice for being able to open up 
those databases and be able to view and manipulate them as well as execute SQL commands or queries against those databases so you can investigate the data even further. Additionally, we've got network forensics tools. So there's Wireshark, which we have looked at, and Ettercap, which we have also looked at. We've got password recovery tools, so the standards, there's John the Ripper and PDF Crack and Sam Dump. There's also FCrack Zip, which I mentioned in another lesson about cracking zip files when we were talking about compression. If there is a password on the zip file, FCrack Zip may actually be able to help you crack that password so you can see what's inside of the zip file. So we've got Deft Linux, and it's not as easy to use maybe as one of the other graphical programs that we've looked at, like ProDiscover or FTK or Encase, but there's a lot of capability here. If you learn how to use these various tools, you may be able to get even more out of the data if you start using Deft Linux and get used to the tools that are here. One of the advantages, of course, is that it's free. And another advantage is it's a live CD or could be a live CD that you could carry around with you and you're not tied to your system where in case is, you can take this along with you and be able to do the capture and analysis wherever you need to do it without having to grab hard drives and carry them back to your system where you've got the appropriate software installed. So that's another advantage of using Deft Linux. And again, this is very targeted towards doing forensic analysis. So you may want to go out and get yourself a copy of Deft Linux and start looking at it.